Well, good morning, guys. It's Jamie. Thanks for joining us for the Sunday devotional for today. And uh, we hope it's been a good week. Uh, if you have your Bibles, I want you to turn to Luke 24, starting at verse 33. Before we jump into the text, I was actually going through some old stuff this week. And one of the things I found was an old wallet. And this wallet is probably 20 years old. And I was going through investigating the contents of the wallet. I came across something pretty interesting, a artifact of sorts. And I was just really taken back to find this special artifact. And what that artifact was, it was my Blockbuster card. Now, if you remember, if you grew up in the 80s, maybe the 70s too, but if you grew up in the 80s, you were very used to this Blockbuster card because before streaming all these other things, we had video rental services where you actually had to go to a store and pick out a video and you'd rent that for entertainment purposes. And this was a common thing in the 80s and 90s, even the early 2000s, where the vehicle you would use to obtain movies was just through video rental. And Blockbuster really cornered the market on that service. There are some documentaries about Blockbuster. In fact, I think there's still one left out west near Seattle. But Blockbuster, for all intended purposes, has been moved off the map. And there's a reason why. And the reason why is because Netflix and other services that had a different business model came into being. And what's funny is Blockbuster had a model that said, hey, come to our store and come to our store and rent a physical video that we have. So come to where we're at. The videos are here. Get the video, take it home, bring it back later, and hopefully they'll get a late fee. But Netflix's model was different. They started out saying, hey, we're going to send it to you. Stay at home where it's comfortable. We're going to mail it to you. And then eventually it got to the point where their main service was just doing streaming. Literally direct to your TV. And so they made it more convenient and available. They changed the delivery mechanism to no longer be reliant on the customer showing up to a physical location. But they made it reliant on the actual goods being delivered directly to the customer. And because of that, this thing is pretty much an antiquity you can't use. It's an antique that you can only use maybe one place in the whole country. And so Blockbuster is, for the most part, long gone. What's interesting is when, you know, we're in week four today of our WTL series, The Way, the Truth, the Life, that looks at the post-resurrection experience of our, our gentlemen that are on the road to Emmaus. And Jesus interacts with them. And the past couple of weeks we've looked at, you know, we looked at the idea of spending time in God's word. We looked at the idea of prayer. We've looked at the idea of meeting God at the table and fellowshipping with him and communing with him. And today we're going to look at the idea of changing our story and sharing our story. And so if you have your Bibles, turn with me to Luke 24, 33. This is after we're at the end of the experience with these gentlemen and Jesus. So they just ate with them. They've been walking with him. They ate with him and they, and he, they realized who he was. And right after that, here's what happens. They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven and those with them assembled together, and they said, It is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way, and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. So once they have this experience, once they realize who Jesus is, and Jesus interacts with them, they say, hey, we got to go tell somebody. And what this is, it's a seismic shift in the delivery model of what God is doing. 
And the old way, the blockbuster way of things was, hey, everybody come to the temple or the tabernacle, come to where the presence of the Lord is, and let's assemble where the presence is, and there we'll be able to interact with God. But Jesus changes that model, and later on we get the Holy Spirit, and what happens is God wants to dwell within us, and we end up being the temple. So this is kind of a precursor to that. But what we have is we have, instead of the temple or the tabernacle being the sole purpose of communication to people, these gentlemen are going to share their story. And so we have this kingdom shift from the blockbuster model to the Netflix model. And that's what the gospel is. It's good news. It doesn't say, hey, come... Come here to where we're at and get what we got. That's the archaic way. But it says, hey, we're going to bring the goods to you. We're going to share what Jesus has done in, in my life. We're going to share who Jesus really is. We're going to bring it to you. And so the old way was come and see and now it's go and tell. That's awesome. And these guys didn't even have, the Holy Spirit hadn't even come yet. We have the benefit of the Holy Spirit having already come here, and he wants to dwell within us. And so when we assemble together at church, it's not that the church is like some fancy place where God's dwelling. He's dwelling in us. And when we all get together, it's this powerful effect where you have this compound unity effect where the Holy Spirit honors it. But my challenge for you today is that we would not be a part of the old blockbuster model way of doing things in the kingdom of God. But that we would adapt and grow and allow the Holy Spirit to use us to be a Netflix style, direct to the person that we would go and tell our story of what God's done in our life, of who Jesus is. That's the new way of doing things. That's why Jesus is transformational. Let's go and tell, let's go and share. And when we do gather together, it's God's presence within us through the Holy Spirit, magnified, through the unity of believers that will create that special experience we, we have. So who are you today? Are you a blockbuster believer? Or are you a Netflix believer? Think about that. Let's pray. Lord, I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for this series on the road to Emmaus. You're teaching us so much about how to, how to be a Christ follower in the post-resurrection world. And Lord, not only do we want to read our Bible and pray and commune with you at the table, but Lord, we want to tell our story. We don't want to just rely on people to have to come to a church building to get it the old way, but we want to be able to be that Netflix-style believer that goes and delivers the goods where it's needed the most. Make us that way, Lord. Allow us and enable us and empower us to go and tell our story. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, I'm glad you guys could be here with us today. At 1045, Pastor Scott's going to dive into a sermon on this exact topic. And I'm really looking forward to it. We are. This is the last sermon of this series. It's been an awesome series. And Pastor Scott, diving into the Word, is giving us a series of things we can use to grow as believers in a post-resurrection world. Have a great week, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.